the Lewis structure for iron 3 bromide will have an iron atom and several bromines. I'll show you why. Iron is a transition metal from this block of the periodic table. It can actually have more than one possible charge. In this case, it has a charge of plus three. That's written here in the formula. It's also alluded to here. Now, what that means is we're gonna start with Fe having three valence electrons. It's the loss of those three electrons that will give it the positive three charge in the end. If your formula says iron two bromide, only give it two valence electrons, get it? Now bromine, on the other hand, is a non-metal from the right-hand side of the periodic table. In group 17, it's going to bring seven valence electrons with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Now, as a reaction between a metal and a non-metal, we're going to form an ionic compound. That's a transfer of electrons from metal to non-metal. The metal will want to get rid of all its valence electrons, in this case, three of them. And the non-metal will want their octets completed. That's eight electrons in their outer shell. Bromine here already has seven valence electrons. It's only short by one to make the octet of eight. So I'm gonna draw an arrow from one of iron's valence electrons to the Br. Now that Br will have eight, and that's happy and stable. Unfortunately, the iron is not yet stable or happy, you know, as happy as atoms can be, because it still has extra valence electrons to deal with. Where will they go? Well, the answer is, if we have an extra bromine around, then one of those electrons can go to complete its octet, and another bromine can accept another one of iron's valence electrons. The fact that we need three bromines to accept each or one each of iron's three valence electrons is why the formula is FeBr3. But the final Lewis structure here will show the ions. We have iron, don't draw any dots around it because it gave away its valence electrons, but do show the plus three charge, indicating that it lost three negatively charged electrons. Then I want you to show bromine. Now bromine brought seven valence electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and has an extra from iron. That gives it a charge of minus one, which you're allowed to just write as minus, and I want you to write that down three different times. So here's the second of the bromines, and here's the third of the bromines. I almost did that in the wrong place. So I'm gonna convert it to the square bracket, and there you go. One iron with a plus three charge, three bromines with complete octets and minus one charges each. This is the Lewis structure you're looking for. Thank you for being with me, and best of luck.